Hey, it's been a minute since I've done a full Kajabi review. So now that it's 2024 and there's so many new features on the platform, I'm gonna give you everything that you need to know to determine if Kajabi is right for you. So join me, my espresso, and my wannabe mullet as you and I decide together if Kajabi might be right for you. Cheers to that. Always goes down smooth. All right, now roll the fancy drone shot intro video. Wait, what? I don't, I don't have one? <laughs> oh, okay. All right, as I said, we're gonna talk all about Kajabi. We're first gonna start with the question, what is Kajabi? Then we're gonna talk about who Kajabi is for so that you can get an idea of whether or not it's for you. Then we're going to look at how Kajabi specifically helps online business creators, online business owners. We're gonna look at pricing plans and we're gonna look at new features because there's so many of them. And then we're gonna do a full walkthrough of the dashboard so that you can see inside Kajabi. They're in the computer? In the computer. My goal with this video is to give you a complete picture of everything that you need to know to decide whether it's right for you. So what experience do I have on Kajabi? I've been on it for several years now. I'll get more in detail later about how I use it, but essentially I run a multiple six-figure business on Kajabi and it has allowed me to grow my business because it has enabled me to focus on the things that I do best without getting drowned in tech. It's also saved me a ton of money over all the software that used to be required to run my business, but I'll get more into that in just a second. But the short of it is Kajabi has absolutely made my life so much better and has allowed me to grow my business faster than I would have ever been able to without it. Right now, you can jump onto Kajabi for three months for $99. With that, you get all my bonuses, including a 45-minute one-time video call with me, my Kajabi Accelerator course, and the 25K course launch email template. You get all of that, plus the entire Kajabi platform for three months for 99 bucks. If that promotion has ended, you can always get the 30-day free trial, plus all the bonuses. All of that is always available with a 30-day free trial. But if it's January of 2024 and you're watching this, and you've even considered jumping into Kajabi, now is the time. Three months, 99 bucks, lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. So the first question we want to tackle is what is Kajabi? Kajabi is an all-in-one online business platform. What that means is that they've essentially taken all of the different pieces of software, your whole stack, and they've reduced it to one piece of software that does everything. It's all in one login under one roof and it does it all. It's your website, your email marketing, your online course hosting, your membership site, your payment processor, your podcast, your CRM, and so much more. It's basically taken what would have normally been a mess of all these different types of software that you need, an expensive mess and a complicated mess, and it's taken it and reduced it to one place at a much lower price than you would pay for all of those different things and made it simple and convenient and easy for you to use even if you're not a tech person, which is really the magic of Kajabi. It's simple to use, especially when you use my link and you get my course, the Kajabi Accelerator, because I walk you through exactly how to use everything. Plus I've got a thousand different tutorials on this channel and I work with you directly. But even without that, it is a simple software to use and it replaces everything else. The next question I wanna tackle is who is Kajabi for? Put simply, it is for the person who has an online business idea. In other words, you want to create content about something and build courses around that to help people achieve a goal or learn a skill. But what you don't wanna do is design websites, write code, figure out how to connect a whole bunch of different pieces of software in a big complicated mess. That's not really your thing. You're not really into that. What you're into is helping people, serving people, and making a lot of money doing it. That is who Kajabi is for because it basically takes all of the guesswork, all of the tech, makes it very simple, makes it very streamlined. Everything connects, everything works with each other. You don't really have to worry about it. You get to do what you do best, which is serving clients, making amazing products to help them reach their goals and put a lot of money in your pocket. If that's who you are and what you need, then Kajabi is best for you. Okay, next I wanna talk about how it helps you. And specifically, Kajabi helps you in two ways. It saves you time and it saves you money. It saves you time in a lot of different ways. In some ways, it has to do with the automations that are built in and the integrations that happen automatically, but I'll get more into that when we look into the dashboard. But broadly speaking, the way it saves you time is it keeps you from having to manually put together 
all of these different systems, your website on one piece of software, your email marketing on a different piece of software, your course hosted somewhere else, and making all of those things fit together, it eliminates that and it saves you a massive amount of time. And in doing that, it simplifies the process of running your business, which again, saves you time and gives you more back and gives you more of your time and energy back. The second way it really serves you is it saves you money. The way it does this is the price of Kajabi is actually way less than if you were to put together piecemeal all of the different things that it replaces. And this is where a lot of people get tripped up. And just in a second, we're gonna look at the pricing plans and you'll see what I'm talking about. A lot of people look at the pricing plans and they go, oh my gosh, it's 150 or it's $200 a month. And they go, this is a lot of money. But if you take all of what it replaces, the bare necessities of what you need to run your business, course hosting platform, a website builder, an email marketing system, and a funnel system, you put all that together, it's gonna to cost way more than $150 a month, and it's gonna be way more complicated, and it's gonna require a whole lot more of your time and energy to manage it. If you put those two things together, it helps you in massive ways by saving you time and saving you money. All right, so now we're gonna dive into the pricing plans. So if you go to Kajabi and you click on pricing, it's gonna take you to this page. Now, I want you to keep in mind that if you're watching this in January of 2024, you can take advantage of my three months of Kajabi for $99. Go to lanesebring.com slash Kajabi, click on this button. It'll take you right here. This is an affiliate link, obviously, and that is why I'm able to offer these amazing bonuses, which is the 45-minute call with me, the Kajabi Accelerator course, and the 25K course launch email template. But you also get three months for only $99. That's one payment, 99 bucks, that gives you three months of access. So that's what's happening right now. But your ongoing price on the growth plan after that happens is going to be the $199 per month. Now, I do want to mention, if for some reason you're watching this down the road six months from now and you're like, well, dang it, I missed the thing, well, that's fine. You still get a 30-day free trial if you go to lanesebreen.com slash kajabi. The 30-day free trial that looks like this will always be there, okay? And by the way, if you want it right now, you can just scroll down and get it. 30 day free trial. All right, so let's look at the actual pricing plans, the ongoing pricing plans. It starts with the basic, and this is $149 a month. But again, like I mentioned, you get so much with it. Don't be intimidated by these prices. You have to kind of understand everything that it does. The first thing is you get zero transaction fees. What this means is that you're selling things on the platform. You're selling courses, you're selling digital products, you're selling your subscription service, you're selling your coaching. You don't pay any transaction fees at all on those transactions. So if you're gonna compare Kajabi to other platforms, you have to take into consideration if they charge a transaction fee. And sometimes those transaction fees look low, like 5% or 10%, but that is a lot of money. 5% on a $500 course is 25 bucks. That's a lot of money to hand over on every single transaction. So you have to keep that in mind, especially if you plan to start selling some volume, which you probably do. So 0% transaction fees across the board between the 149, the 199, and the 399. Now I wanna kinda jump to the gun here and then we'll go back through all the details. For most people, if you're just starting out, the 149 basic plan is fine. That's all you need when you're first starting out. The growth plan is really good if you have a plan, you know what you want, and you need those extra features. It's awesome. You can go up and down and plan all you want, by the way. You can go from 149 to the 199. You can be on the 199 to go back down to the 149. It's totally up to you. So you can move around as you want. Most people don't need the pro plan until they need the pro plan, if that makes sense. Like if you're moving a massive business over from somewhere else, sure, go with a pro plan if you need it. But if you don't need it, I wouldn't do it yet because you just, you don't need it. So 149 and all the plans, there's 0% transaction fees. On the basic plan, you get three products. A product is like a course, it is a membership site, it's a coaching product, you get three of those. Now, the one thing I'll say is that once you start building your business, you're probably gonna go through three products quicker than you would think, which is why you're gonna wanna go from basic to growth. But keep in mind, once you have products and you're selling these products, you're making money. So it all kind of works out. 15 products over at growth and then 100 products once you get to pro. I actually still have the growth plan and 15 products is plenty for me. So just to give you an idea of how this stuff works. I have several courses on both brands and I 
growth is fine. Three funnels on the basic plan and then 15 funnels on the growth plan, 100 funnels on the other. What is a funnel? A funnel, and we'll look at these in a second when we get into the dashboard, but a funnel is a set of emails, landing pages, and automations that take people on a journey through buying your course, like marketing it to them, selling it to them, and then completing the transaction. That's what a funnel does. Now, just because the funnels here are like, you get three or you get 15, I build my own manually. These are just kind of the populated funnels. Like you can go in and push a button and it just makes it all happen for you. I've done that, I have videos on that. And I've also just put mine together using landing pages, email sequences, and automations. It's all the same thing, whether you manually put it together or it does it for you, it's basically all the same thing. It's just that they give you a specialized shortcut, which is cool. Again, you get three of those that you can play around with and use on the basic plan, 15 on the growth, and of course, 100 on the pro. Unlimited landing pages across the board. What is a landing page? A landing page is a page that people land on <laughs> on your website. These are the specific kind of sales pages or uh, opt-in pages or checkout pages and you get as many as you want. Unlimited marketing emails. What this means is that you can send as many emails as you want to your list on every single plan. So again, when you use email marketing, you will find that it is expensive. I moved over from ConvertKit and I was paying $50 a month and I had a tiny list. I work out with a guy every morning who has a very large list and he was paying $800 a month on ConvertKit to send emails. So if you look at this and you say, gosh, $199 a month is a lot, keep in mind that <laughs> it could be a whole heck of a lot more for what they offer. Okay, 1,000 active customers on the basic plan, 10,000 on the growth plan. What is an active customer? An active customer is someone who has bought your product and is using it. So getting to 10,000 active customers is a massive feat. That would be amazing and you'll move up to pro. You get one website on basic, you get one website on growth and you get three websites on pro. The website is exactly what it seems. It is a website and it rivals anything that I can make on my self-hosted WordPress site and anything that you can make on Squarespace or Wix or any of the other website builders. It competes with all of them. It's simple, it's easy to use and it's built in. You get one admin user on the basic plan, so that would be like you and no one else. On the growth plan, you can have up to 10. So an admin user is someone that you give full permissions to to get on there. So like if you had a virtual assistant or if you had an agency working in the background on your Kajabi site, you would give them admin access and you can have up to 10 over on the growth plan, again, 25 on pro. Now, when you go to the growth plan, it starts to open up a few features that you don't get on basic that are pretty cool. The affiliate program, I'm huge on that. The 24 seven chat support, this is awesome. You can go anytime you're in Kajabi, if you have a problem, you can access chat right away 24 seven. Advanced automations. Another way of saying this would be conditional automations. Think of it like if this, then that. So if the customer clicks on this button, then subscribe them to this email sequence. If they log in to this, then do that. It, like it's conditional automations. You get some basic automations on the basic plan, but you can go really advanced once you get to growth. And the ability to remove Kajabi branding, that's just a little button at the bottom of your site that says powered by Kajabi. You can turn that off once you get to the growth plan. And then over on the pro plan, the only difference besides what we've already talked about is that you can do custom code. Again, for me, I don't do any code, so that's never really gonna matter to me unless someone else is doing it for me because I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to code. So there you have it with the prices. Like I said, I think most people could get away with starting with basic, but it doesn't hurt if you already know what you want to go ahead and jump on the growth plan hit the ground running, build out your stuff and have everything you need, especially the automations and the 24 seven chat support might make it worth it for you to go to the growth plan. And then the thing to keep in mind is when you do this annually, in other words, when you pay annually up front, it actually reduces what you're paying per month substantially. You save 20%. So instead of 149, it goes to 119 for basic. Instead of 199, it goes to 159 for growth. And then you can see 319 for pro. I do it this way because if I can save money and pay it all up front, it's just easier. It's less kind of clutter 
billing me every month. I pay it once a year, I get the 20% off and it's awesome. Now, before we get into the dashboard of Kajabi, I wanna point out a couple of new features that I'm really excited about. The first new feature is called Creator Studio, and this is actually still in beta, but it's gonna be rolling out its full version very soon to everyone. One thing to know about Kajabi is they keep adding features, but they don't increase the price. This is a pretty amazing thing. Since I've been on Kajabi, they've added so much. Email marketing wasn't even a thing until I got on here. Podcasts weren't even a thing until I got on here. It wasn't because of me. They were gonna do it anyway, but the point is I'm paying the same amount that I always was, but it continues to be much, much better every step of the way. And one of those examples is Kajabi Creator Studio. Basically what this is, is it enables you to create 40 pieces of content from one piece of content. You can take a video and transcribe it into a blog post or a LinkedIn post or a Facebook post. You can take a course video and make it into TikToks and Reels. You can do all kinds of things to repurpose content. And what this really has done, it has taken the process of content distribution and brought it inside Kajabi. And it's just another thing that Kajabi does very well. Now I have a video on the Kajabi Creator Studio when it was in its infancy. I'm gonna make an updated, dedicated video just to the Creator Studio. But for now, what I wanna do is just show you what it looks like. So inside Kajabi Creator Studio, you go to new project and it's gonna bring up all of these options. Essentially, you select the file. This could be something that you upload or it could be something that is a course video that you already have here on Kajabi. Then you turn it into either a transcript, you get the subtitles, or the VETT subtitles. And then you can send it to these social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube descriptions, YouTube video title, Instagram caption, X post, hashtags, all of that. And then you can keep going down here where you see that you can create emails, blogs, websites, community courses, video summary, all of these things are built into the Creator Studio. Again, I will do a full video on this, but just know this is a massive feature. The other thing Kajabi is doing very well across the board is AI. It's incorporated AI into every step of the way. When you make funnels, when you make a course, when you do an outline, all of its features include an aspect of AI that's built into the platform. This makes it very easy to speed the process of content creation, speed the process of course creation and product creation up by utilizing, not depending on, but utilizing AI that's all built in. The other feature that's relatively new is Kajabi Payments, which I've done a video on before, but basically Kajabi utilizes Stripe technology or PayPal. That's what they've done for years and you could choose which one you want. Now they have their own built-in integrated Kajabi Payments system. It uses Stripe technology, which is the best, but it's completely built in, pays you directly and immediately, and it includes literally everything. Apple Pay, Google Pay, Afterpay, Visa, MasterCard, Amex, all the credit cards, all of it built in to one system that Kajabi manages. And the price competes with Stripe, which was already the best deal out there. The other thing that Kajabi just rolled out is sales tax. So now you're able to calculate sales tax and build it into the Kajabi payment system in your checkout page. These are massive new features and there's so much more, but I wanted to touch on these because I wanted to give you a taste of what Kajabi is always doing and that is developing and improving this amazing platform. Now we're gonna dive into the dashboard of Kajabi. I'll show you where everything is and what everything does and you'll see what it looks like hands-on inside. All right, so when you log on to Kajabi, this is what you see. It gives you a performance overview of the last 30 days. Down here, you have the Kajabi Hero Group. That's a Facebook group. Right here, you have the Kajabi University. These are tutorials and training materials to help you get a head start on Kajabi. And then over here, you have Kajabi Experts. This is people who you can hire to help you build out your Kajabi site if you so choose to do it. Over here on the left, we have the entire kind of platform of what you can do. The first thing we're gonna look at is products. When you look at products, this is all of the products that you can create. When you click on new product, it's gonna give you these four choices. You can build a course, you can set up a podcast, you can build a community, think of that like a membership site, and you can build a coaching product. Between these four, there's all kinds of ways that you can dig into them. And I'm gonna go more in depth in future videos and I've gone more in depth with prior videos, but essentially this is what you do to build out your 
products. All right, next up is sales. And I actually run two online businesses on Kajabi, my personal brand, what you're interacting with right now, Lane Sebring, and Preaching Donkey. And on Preaching Donkey, I actually haven't set up Kajabi payments yet. And if that's the case, when you get on here, it'll look like this and it will ask you to connect your Kajabi payments and you can do it like that. Then you have offers. These are all of the things that you have offered for sale, all of the different ways that you've packaged your courses and made them available for people to buy. One of the things that I love about Kajabi, and I've said this a lot, is that your course is detached from your offer. You don't have to have the same price on the course every time. You can put other things with it. You can bundle things together. You can run it at a discount. It's all about the offer. So the course is the product that sits in different offers as a way to think about it. And if that's confusing, I have videos on it. But the really cool thing is it gives you the freedom as the business owner to decide how you're gonna package things together and offer them for sale. Next up, we have coupons. This is if you want to offer discounts on certain products and certain offers at different times. Next up is affiliates. This is if you want to have people help you sell your products. You can set them up as affiliates and then give them a commission of what they sell. All right, next up is your website. And the way it's designed is you have the main pages of the website and we can go in here and customize this page. I use the simplest template that they have, which is just called the Premier template. There's other templates that you can use. You can browse them here. They've got all kinds of options and then even legacy templates. You can upload new templates if you want, but there's basically a style for everyone. Beyond the main page of the website, you have the landing pages. And so there's the kind of website pages like your home, your blog, your blog post, your library, things like that. But then you have your landing pages, which is going to look like this, where it's all of the different things that kind of go along with your site, the sales pages, landing pages. My internet, for some reason, is kind of slow today, which is why it's taken a second to load. Kajabi's very fast. That's my internet that's kind of being slow. Navigation is going to be like your menu, your top line menu, your bottom menu. And then of course, your blog are just the different posts that you do on your site. Marketing is gonna be where your email list comes in. You have your email campaigns. You can send a email broadcast, an email sequence, or you can do an event that's coming soon. A sequence is like a series of emails that you schedule to send out. A broadcast is like one email that goes out to your whole list or the list that you segment. All right, next up we have funnels. If you click on new funnels, it gives you the options. Like if you wanna do a product launch, for example, you can get started. You name the funnel, you select the offer that you wanna sell, and then you hit the button and create the funnel and it will just build it out for you. It's pretty awesome. Automations, we talked about this earlier, but I have advanced automations. And so this is where all of my automations for this particular brand exist. So like when offer is purchased, preaching jumpstart basic, unsubscribe them from the 10 step sermon prep checklist. When it's purchased, get subscribe them to this email sequence. Welcome to preaching jumpstart. On and on and on it goes. You can set up automations so that everything is just done in the background of your life, 24 hours a day. Anytime somebody does something, as long as that automation's set once, it just does the rest. Next up is events. This is like if you want to run a live webinar and have kind of a deadline on something, you run an event. And then forms is the opt-in that people use for different things. So like you can have an opt-in or a form that people fill out, think name and email to get your lead magnet and so on and so forth. Contacts is gonna be all of the people who have subscribed over time. And so think of this like your CRM. This is where it keeps track of everybody who has joined your list in some way, they've bought a product, they've subscribed, and you can see all the activity of what everyone has done. Insights is gonna give you a view into how things are doing in terms of your sales, Assessments are going to be like quizzes. These are things that you can send out to people. These can be used as lead magnets or as basic forms. Analytics is exactly how it sounds. This gives you an overview of all of your numbers, what everything looks like. And then finally, Creator Studio, which we talked about. Your settings down here on the bottom left. When you use my link, you get the Kajabi Accelerator course and I walk you step-by-step -step through every one of these settings and show you exactly how 
to set up all of your settings in the background of Kajabi. So we went through that really fast, but that is the dashboard. I have videos that go into way more depth with each one of these. You can check those out, but that is what it looks like inside Kajabi. So my final assessment with my experience with Kajabi, when you add all of it up, everything that it offers for what it costs, it is an absolute no brainer. It just makes sense. If you're someone who wants to start an online business or if you want to move your online business to one platform to simplify it, Kajabi is the best for that. So if you're ready to jump in, be sure to use my link to get all of the bonuses. If it's January, do the three month deal. If it's past January, do the 30 day deal. Either way, you get all the bonuses. I cannot wait to see you on our 45 minute call to talk about your business, talk about Kajabi and how you can get the best possible start on that platform. For right now, check out this video where I show you exactly what to do in the first three months that you're on Kajabi to get to six figures as fast as possible. So click right there and I'll see you in that video. Thank you.